Sick and tired of staring at your supermarket shampoo bottles? Hi guys, Belle from Hampton Your House here where we're all about bringing the coastal Hamptons vibe to your house on a budget. I've got another great DIY for you today in the how to decorate for free or almost free series and I think you're gonna love it. Have you ever seen those amber glass pump bottles for hand soap that look so beautiful? We're going to get that same look today for your shampoo, conditioner and body wash with some plastic hand wash bottles from the brand Thank You. I can't wait to get Get started. First, you'll want to collect a few hand wash pump bottles. They don't have to be the Thank You brand, any that have the amber glass look will work, and just make sure that they're all the same as each other so that they match. You can ask friends and family if they can use the same brand as you and then pass the bottles on to you once they're empty if you think it will take you too long to collect them for yourself. Then you'll need to peel the labels off and give the bottles a really good clean and shine. If they don't come off easily or if it leaves a sticky residue like mine did, you can use a combination of eucalyptus oil and soaking them in hot water with a little bit of dishwashing liquid and you may even need to use your fingernails a bit. Next, we want to create some personalised labels for your bottles. Today I'm just going to print something out and layer it in contact to create a sticker. I'm using the free version of Canva to create my label and here's how I did it. Go to the Canva website, create a login if you need to and then click on create new design on the top right. Type in sticker and then I selected circle sticker from the list it gave me. You can then choose from some designs down the left hand side. I chose this one as a template, but you can choose whatever you like. I'd just say if you want it to look elegant and high-end, pick something really simple with clean lines and a readable font. And now you can give it an interesting name. You can make it classic, something like this idea by using a number. And then to keep that one and try another idea, just go right above your design and click duplicate page. Then you can edit the one that appears below. You can do something a bit creative like this. Or you could use your name. You could use a place name or the name of your favorite holiday destination. Really anything you like. You can edit the design however you like, change the fonts or add things in. I added an extra circle around mine in a gold color for just a touch of color. Once you're happy with your design and you've created sticker templates for all your bottles, go to the top right again and click share and down a bit it says download. Then click on that and you can choose a PNG file or a JPEG, either is totally fine. These are now just like normal image files, so save them on your computer and then next I copied them all into a word processor file to make them a bit smaller and so I could print them all out on one A4 page. Next cut them out really carefully and then we're going to take the offcuts and stick them back together to make a circle and then trace that circle onto some clear contact paper. Cut out that circle and stick it onto the back of your sticker template. This is to give your paper sticker some extra protection from any possible water damage. Then, originally I made a bigger circle using a cup to stick on the front because I thought it would give better protection from water damage, but the contact kept bubbling up and that didn't look great. So I ended up pulling those off using a toothpick to help to stop me from accidentally damaging the stickers and then trimming the contact down to the size of the circles. And I had some double sided tape that I think I got from Cheapers Chips a few years ago for around $3. So I used that to stick them back on which works really well. If your contact happens to stick down better than mine did, you could still try it the first way or possibly even with the double sided tape as well, just see how you go. 
Then grab your shampoo and conditioners and pour them in. Then once they're all done, you can put them into place in your shower. And unlike glass pump bottles, you won't have any problems if you accidentally knock one of these over. And they look fantastic. Here's the before and after. I'm so excited to have pretty bottles in my shower that won't break if I knock them over. And they look so cohesive and elegant now. It's made such a big difference and it was such a simple, easy project to do. If you've missed any videos in the Decorate for Free series, don't forget to go back and watch those too. I'll leave a link to the playlist below. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.